So today we're going to create a logo using Microsoft Publisher. This uh, version of Publisher is uh, from Office 2013, so you'll be able to find that on your computers. And what we're going to do is just create a very quick logo on it. Now, you've been asked to plan out your logo, so you should have a drawing of your logo to hand. You were asked to keep the sort of style fairly simple. So what we're going to do is create a logo for you here. So first thing I'm going to do is from the home menu, I'm going to go into shapes. Now first of all I should point out to you that I have reduced the size of my screen to make this video a little bit smaller in size which is why you won't see it saying shapes. But first of all I'm just going to select a shape so I'm just going to throw a shape that's going to be my background so that's going to be that one there and I'd like to make it a little bit different so I'm going to change the colour of the background so I'm going to drop down here in shape fill I'm going to make it a gradient but rather than just one of these standard gradients I'm going to go to more gradients and I'd like it to be sort of two-tone so to make it two-tone we're going to go for gradient fill and we're simply we could go for all the presets uh, but we're simply going to make some changes to it so we're going to go from left to right I'm going to swipe in from one side to the other so you'll see that then change the angle to zero and at the moment it goes white to blue but white's not really what I'm after I think if I go for a sort of strike in red something like that and if I just make sure I know what the colour of blue is, so I'm going to make it quite dark, something like that. So if I hit OK, we get this, which is fine, but I've got this sort of blended here in the middle, which is sort of purpley and all sorts of colours, so it's not really what I'm after. I want a definite strike. So to do that with a gradient, we simply hit more gradients again. And this time I'm going to put a stop point in here. And I'm just going to change the colour of the stop point Okay, to the same colour of red and I'm going to put another stop point on the other side I'm going to change the colour to the same colour of blue now I have one shape with this blended area in the middle which is what I'm after uh, I'd like it to sort of look like a, a patch like a, a badge so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change again the outline I'm going to have we look through it'd be quite good if I could maybe change the weight of the outline make it stand out so and again I'm going to go to the outline and make it sort of more sort of yellowish in colour to yellow that'll do something like that okay and I need something to put in it so I'm going to now insert in a bit of word art so I'm going up to insert word dart, and the word dart I'm going to put in uh, I'm just going to keep it fairly plain, so I'm just going to select something that kind of stands out to me here, something like that. And I'm just going to put in the logos. Now, my logo is going to consist of um, two letters back to back, so I'm going to go for a simple L. And I'm simply going to take that L and I'm going to resize it to make it bigger. Okay. And if I put that there, that's good. I then want to copy and paste it to get a different L. And then what we want to do is to flip it. Okay. And then rely on the, per the publisher tools to show me when it's lined up. And we just do something like that. And I'm just going to do the next bit roughly by eye. Like that. And there you go. We have a logo. The downside is if I try and drag the logo, uh, it comes apart, so that's not really what I'm after. So what I'm going to do is highlight the logo, right hand mouse button, and I'm just going to select group. Now the logo can be moved around, it can be copied and pasted, it can be resized to whatever size I want. And there we go. There is how to create a simple logo using Microsoft Office Publisher.